I only started playing harp when I retired. So it's been brand new for me. And I went into the academy about five years ago. I, I started out trying to obey all the rules as if I had, were taking a college course or a high school course. I printed everything out. I read everything. I tried to do every homework. I tried to do absolutely everything I could exactly according to the book. And then I grew from there into a, well, you know what? I can do anything I want in this class. I can do anything I want belonging to this academy. So I now look at it as one big bucket list. So I'll walk into my harp room one day and I'll say, today I feel like working on the blues. So I'll go in and I'll check for that. And if you look at the academy, you'll see that there are so many possibilities to do that you can do anything on any day that you want. And so I not only set my own goals, but I play whatever music I feel like playing and tune into what I want to. And one of my goals this year, because I'm having some vision problems, was to learn how to play by not following the music. In other words, just feel it and look into the eyes of the people I'm playing for. And so I set that for a goal for myself. And when you set goals like that in the academy, you get help. You get help from others and you get help from Deborah and you figure out that it fits into the academy. So it's a really valuable thing. I'm gonna put on my starry crown down by the riverside, down by the riverside, down by the riverside. I'm gonna put on that starry crown down by the riverside, down by the riverside. Now all you got, I ain't gonna study study war no more I ain't gonna 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 study